You could say that David Sutcliffe has, in the words of William Shakespeare, come full circle. Oh my God, it's Will. Your boyfriend? <laughs> no, worse, my gay roommate. You've got to hide. He's a familiar face on numerous American shows, including this one. What are you doing here? I'm here to see you. And your mom, who's not saying anything about as loud as a person can. But David was actually born and raised here in Canada, where he excelled in sports, hockey, and hoops. But when an injury ended his athletic career, he turned to acting and before long headed to Hollywood. But there's more to David than lights, camera, and action. He's somebody who's dug deep to understand his own personal anger. Why am I f***ing doing this? And he practices a form of therapy called core energetics. He even produced a documentary web series about it. I just don't get it. Tell me what I'm supposed to do, and I'll do it. Now David has returned home to Canada to co-star in a new CBC crime drama called Crack. It's all about a veteran detective dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder. Arrest me. When's your chicken? Huh? Arrest me. Chicken? Ah! 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 Please welcome to the show one of the stars of the track, David Sutcliffe! How are you, man? How are you, buddy? How are you? I'm great. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Good to be here. Lovely to see you. Met you on the, the when we first announced CBC announced that they had this show and they had you. Yeah. Watch people react to the fact that you were coming home. That's pretty, <laughs> how does it feel to be doing a show in Canada? Again? It feels great. I mean, 14 years in LA and I had a great career there, and I started to have this feeling that it was time to come home separate from Cracked, and then Cracked came up, and it just seemed like synchronicity and uh, really interesting show. The kind of thing that I was looking for, more of a gritty cop drama. There's some there's some lightness to it, but a mm -hmm. character that you can really sink your teeth into and go like for now. and explore and, and, yeah. and do things with as an actor Pretty, so it's huh? been it's been fantastic cracked is an interesting show and it's also in the title of the program you're, we're yeah. not dealing with a typical strong cop in its own right or detective you're dealing with somebody in this kind of show who's battling yeah and we're talking about mental illness yeah and this is a new the conversation has been had for ages but it's starting to really be talked about now in the context of leading characters yeah um, is there a different responsibility when you're playing a guy who's got a very real uh, issue? I mean, I think you want to take it seriously, you know? Um, from the way I approach it is, you know, like, kind of like any role, is to, is to bring as much of myself as I can to it. So, not that I feel like I'm necessarily mentally ill, but I certainly have, like all humans, a few cracks. And so the challenge for me is to make sure that I, uh, I let the audience see that. And that's sometimes that's my anger, sometimes that's my sadness, uh, that's my frustration. I want to show people that, you know, it's okay to be a little cracked, you know? We're all a little cracked, and, and it's good. Yeah, man, some of us are shattered. Some of us are shattered. Yeah. And it's just how you get glued back together. And it doesn't have to be smooth, it just mm -hmm. has to be. Mm -hmm. How long yeah. did it take you to figure that out? It took me some time. You know, I think I, I grew up, I had a real mask of, you know, I got it together, I'm cool, you know, I know what I'm doing, uh, I don't need help. Um, and then slowly I could, you know, my life just wasn't working, not, not in, you know, I was working and, you know, I had a career and was basically happy, but I could feel like there was something not quite right. And, uh, and it took me some time to face that uh, uh, I wasn't always okay and that I didn't have it all figured out and that I needed help that I needed to be with other people. Um, well, when as a kid, when did you put the mask on? Because there's a, there's a moment where kids are just free and they're unaware. It's like if you were to play the biblical yeah. story. The moment before you eat the apple, there is no, you just are. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, well, it happens right away. I mean, you know, um, I mean, I, I study a lot of this stuff, you know, I'm very interested in psychology and, um, you know, as a species, we're an attachment species. Like, we, we come out of the womb and we're, you know, like this, and our first instinct is how, we have to figure out how to stay connected to this being for our survival. So immediately we begin to uh, form adaptive strategies. And so we start to think that that's who we are. And it can take all kinds of forms depending on what the caretaker is like. But we are constantly having to adjust as children. And that slowly over time becomes our mask. It becomes who we think we are. And then you go out in the world with this, this is who I am. And it's not always true. There's a deeper essence underneath. And I think that's, I've spent a long time trying to find what that is in a lot of different ways. And partly through uh, acting and, and certainly through this, this character on Cracked. Plus you've always, and will always have Gilmore Girls, right? Yes, exactly. You know, and that's, that's got to be a cool experience. 
Well, you know, one of the things you start as an actor, you you, you kind of hope to have something in your career that uh, will last forever, you know. And, I have hope with a shotgun. Fine. I died by a hockey skate. <laughs> I um, I stand by that. You know? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it was an amazing experience. You know, seven years in a show that uh, is in kind of a cultural phenomenon. It's, you know, worldwide. Uh, the fan base is passionate, uh, dedicated, and... Um, yeah, it, it was amazing to be a part of that, and, and the, the visceral response from the audience you around didn't that show. Get to be liked, man. People want to no. be liked, and you weren't the guy. Well, you're the you know you're kind of the dad who yeah. left and went away, and that that triggers a lot of issues especially for people, if, especially if it's in your own personal life. Exactly, which you a know. lot of people have. That. I have that you myself. Have it. I have it. We, yeah. yeah, people, dads often leave. Uh, dads often leave. So you become this trigger, and I, I would see young women come up to me in the street, and they'd be shaking and they kind of hold this place where they know I'm an actor, they know it's not me, and yet they have an association with this character and then unconsciously probably with their own father. And so they, you know, they're almost in a daze. And it, that, in those moments, I really realized the power of the show and then also the responsibility that I have as an actor to kind of hold that for people and, and to kind of be with them in that place and know, like, they're not really seeing me. They're not in kind of reality, but that's okay. And that's just part of the TV experience. Happiness is when you get to a place where you are who you are and you don't really care what anybody thinks, yeah. providing you're not hurting people. Yeah. So in a sense, you, you want to be who you are and be cool with that. Yeah. You want others to be cool with that. Yes. Are you there? Almost. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. You know, it's funny. I was just having this conversation with a friend last night. I, like the, the, this idea of, um, not, of, of accepting that you're not always going to be seen that people aren't always gonna get you. They're not gonna see your good intentions. And that can be painful. I mean, to not be seen can sometimes, it can hurt your feelings. And the thing to do is just to feel that, it hurts. Yeah. Not to put it on the a-hole who's not seeing you, right. or that, which is you know, the, the dialogue that can run in your mind, yeah, which is self-responsibility. And it's a period at the end of that sentence, not a comma. Yeah. There is nobody else responsible. So that's a good that's place right. to be. Do you yeah, have, do it you is a good place to be. A process by which you get there? A lot of therapy. <laughs> are you the kind of patient that the doctor is like excited that comes in the door or are you the kind of patient where they're like oh boy here we go i'm both i mean i'm 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 i go for it you know i'm into it and so uh you post stuff online dude, yeah of yourself yeah. going for it yeah so yeah i'm i'm, I'm into uh once i once i started doing therapy in my early 20s and once i started to understand that there were things going on in my unconscious that i didn't know about that were dictating the terms of my life, the choices that I were making, I was determined to get to the bottom of that. I had to figure out what that was. Now, I've realized that you never get to the bottom of it. And that's part of acceptance, is that you, you're always gonna have blind spots and things you don't know about yourself. But, uh, but yeah, no, it's been a long, long, incredible process, wonderful, fun, uh, scary, but it's, it's, it's like some people go to like Tuesday night bowling. Yeah, I go to my Tuesday night therapy group. You know, that's <laughs> well, almost what it is for me. It's right. a, it's a it's a hobby, a passion. So, so as a reflective man, then let's let's reflect on this forever. Boyfriend? No, fiance. No, fiance. <laughs> found the body. Oh yeah. Clever conversation. Yeah, yeah watch this. Like talking to Niagara Falls. I had a big wedding plan for next week. Forever nice. Yeah. Crying fiance is my first role ever your in television. Your, your credit was crying yeah, fiance. Crying fiance. Well done. That, that's <laughs> fantastic. I was, I was, uh, that was a big win when I got that part. Yes. Yes, it was huge. It's amazing. That and I, had to, I had to cry. It yeah. was my first role. I had to, to cry. And Where did you go? How did you get the crying? I don't think I got there, to be honest. Nope. I wasn't that good of an actor yet. It's really good to see him. Man. Yeah, it's good to see you. Right on. Thank you. Anytime. Yeah. Get in touch with. So, Cracked is what the name of the show is. And uh, tonight at 9 o'clock on CBC is when it premieres. Make sure you watch it. We'll be right back.